Hello everyone, today let's talk about finding the parameterization for the curve of the intersection between the two spheres. And as you can see, the two spheres, they have the same radius. They both have a radius of two. Uh, this one is not centered at the origin because it's shifted one unit away from the origin in the x direction. Okay, so if we are doing a sketch at the beginning, then it's going to look like this. Now, this is a really rough sketch here just to see what it looks like, okay? And then, so uh, let's say we have the x, y, z axes, and then now we start with the x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to four, and that is center at the origin with radius two. So we have the first sphere, okay? So that's, that's this one. And then now the second one is shifted one unit away from the origin. So the center for this sphere is one zero zero. And then, so this one is the, the one over here and then center uh, at one zero zero. And then we have a um, radius of two. So it's going to look like this. Now this can be quite inaccurate, but just looking at that, then we know that there is the curve of intersection that we are going to get here. Okay, now our goal here is to find this curve of intersection. And then you may say, how do we do that? Well, first thing is that we can see what the x value is by uh, by seeing what this curve is lying into uh, which plane. Because as you can see that there would be a plane that is going to contain that curve. And that plane is actually parallel to the YZ plane. And we need to figure out the X value for this to work. Okay, so how do we do that? So first we are going to manipulate the first equation so that we are going to get Y square plus Z square is equal to four minus X square. Okay, so we're actually just isolating the y square plus z square. So we move the x square to the right side, so we get 4 minus x square. And then we do the same thing here because we also have a y square and a z square. So the second equation is going to have the same left-hand side here, and then the right-hand side will become 4 minus x minus 1 square. Okay, and so because you can see that the they both have the same left hand side, so we can actually set them equal to each other. So the right hand sides, as you can see, can be set equal to each other. So it becomes what? 4 minus x squared is equal to 4 minus x minus 1 squared. Okay? And so now then you may say, what should we do? Uh, as you can see that we can simplify the equation, the 4 and the 4, they can, cancel, they can be canceled. So we can subtract 4 from both sides. And then there was also a negative sign and also the negative sign, so we can also cancel them. So now we're getting the equation, x squared is equal to x minus one squared. And we can expand this. Then we are going to get x squared is equal to x squared minus two x and then plus one. So now more cancellation can be made. So we can also cancel the x squared. And now we are getting a really simple equation so that we can find the x value really easily. So as you can see that x is equal to what? One over two, okay? So that means this plane over here, that is parallel to the yz plane, is x equals one over two. That only gives us the x value for the parameterization, but we still need to come over the y values and the z values, right? So, and then you may say, how do we do it? Well, next, we can plug this x equals one half back into uh, one of the spheres. It doesn't matter which one, but we can use the simpler one. And then we can find, uh, we can see more details about what to do with the y and the z. So let's look at that equation. So we start with the sphere that is centered at the origin. Okay. And then we are going to plug this x equals one half to this x over here. So now our equation actually becomes one over two here. Then plus y squared plus z squared is equal to four. Now let's continue to do the calculation. So we are going to get one over four plus y squared plus z squared is equal to four. Let's keep going. So move the one over four to the other side. So we are going to get four minus one over four. And then of course, four is what? 
can be written as 16 over 4. So 16 over 4 minus 1 over 4. Then we are going to get 15 over 4. So y squared plus z squared is equal to 15 over 4. And so that actually tell, tells us that the curve will be a circle and it's parallel to the yz plane. And basically what really happens is that we have a circle as the curve of intersection between the two spheres. And the circle equation is given by this one. What happens is that the x value for that circle would be x equals one half. So the circle actually lies in the plane of uh, x equals one half, and it has this equation. And then now, how do we come up with the vector function that will give you this curve? Um, it's actually quite easy because we already have the x value. Okay, so x is equal to one over two. Now, because we already know that it will be a circle, so we can actually use y equals, now the radius, okay, the radius would be what? For the circle, it would be the square root of this thing. So let's just write that down. So radius from here is actually what? Square root of 15 and then over two. Okay, so that is our radius for the circle. And that's what we are going to put here. We are going to use the cosine t because we are parameterizing a circle, right? So we are going to use cosine, the sine, and then also the same thing. In front of the sine function, we put the radius in front of that sine function. And then of course we have the parameter domain that is from zero to two pi so that we can have the full circle. And basically this is the parameterization for our curve, but if you want to write it in the vector form, then that would also be easy. So what happens is that we are going to just write it over here. So R of T, so we can give it a name and call R of T or some other names. And then now our X coordinate for the vector would be one over two. Now, what about the Y coordinate is actually this. So we get square root of 15 over two and then cosine T. Z coordinate would be square root of 15, over to sine of t. And then that is our parameterization. Okay, so that's it for this example. I will do more examples like this next time. Thank you for watching.